So here I want to set up my work environment. I have a browser open and I have VS Code open. In the browser, I am going to have Platform IO's registry open, GitHub, ChatGPT, a servo reference, and a few servo examples. So the servo is the servo works by um, taking an input for the angle. So if you look at these different examples, there's different header files, different implementations under the hood. But at the end of at, at the end of the uh, uh, I guess the black box, the servo takes input uh, of of an angle between 0 and 180. So in VS Code, I'm going to have all my tabs open, like all my code tabs, main, diagram.json, platform.ini, and I'm going to go ahead and compile main so that I have a, a running canvas of, of the uh, ESP32 to see what, where I'm starting off at. To get the servo onto our project, I'm going to go over to diagram.json and copy over an entry from the example. Now here I recompile the project, but that's not necessary because the binaries are still the same. Walkly will read the same binaries. Um, diagram.json is is something that walk we read so um it, uh by by just saving the json it'll draw the um servo onto the simulator screen i had a typo here with a comma So now I'm going to move, move over the servo a little bit further out from the board. That, that's just a matter of preference. Now I copy the connections entries to establish a connection between the servo and the board. Notice that there's three pins that we have to connect. Let me see, I, I'll, I'll just... Um, I'll just save the file and restart Walkly without compiling. Okay, now that we have the servo and the board connected, we are going to interface with the servo. I'll go over the platform I.O. and type in ESP32 servo to see what libraries are in store. Okay, I'll sort by popularity and Go with the second one. Head over to the installations tab for instructions how to include uh, the dependency into our project. We're going to go over the platform.ini and just paste that entry into the uh, uh, 
the environment section, the dep library dependent section of our environment variable or whatever. Okay, so if you notice, once you save the platform.ini file on the bottom right of VS Code, platform.ini will update its uh, update the project. Um, we include the header file now into our source code. Okay, you see here we have uh, we're at pin eighteen. So I create a servo object and establish a what is it called? I guess a macro specifying our pin number. So if we ever have to change pins, we can just do it up top. All right, so we attach the pin to the servo object and I'll go ahead and copy in the swinging code, which is just two for loops. All right, we'll build it. No issues. Now we run the project and the initialization is successful. 